Hi, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start explaining uh, what the problem is and then we can take it from there. So for the uninitiated, for those who don't know exactly what is going on, uh, this is the Xbox One. Uh, this particular thing is the Xbox One and there is a display underneath it. So this was supposed to be um, an Xbox One tablet PC that was created by Ben Heck for the Ben Heck Show. I'm going to link the Ben Heck Show uh, episodes uh, for this particular build and you can see how this was actually created. So what has happened is they have sent, uh, Element 14 has been kind enough to send it to me uh, via UPS who managed to smash some internal parts. You can see the fans and stuff, stuff like that broke apart and uh, I did a post on that as well. Uh, what is happening now is that I uh, the SMPS for this particular thing, the power brick that came with the Xbox One was actually a 100 volt uh, version and uh, unfortunately uh, I'm in India and it happened that it's uh, the 220 volts made the metal oxide varistors and the internal cho the yeah, initial chokes blow up more or less. So uh, that was dust. Uh, the last time around what I did was I connected a, hold on a second. So I connected a uh, desktop uh, SMPS uh, to the Xbox One and I connected an external display. Now I'm using a v uh, HDMI to VGA converter in this case. And yes, I uh, got it to work the uh, last time around. And it quite uh, frankly gave me a display. There's a picture if you want to uh, confirm that. So it did work initially. So it was working perfectly the last time. Now what I did was I ordered uh, an Xbox One controller which was about 4,000 rupees off of Amazon. And uh, when I started, when I again hooked it up to the SMPS, it just it did not work. So let's uh, see what is going on. I have, Let's take a look at the connections. The connections are pretty simple. Uh, from the Xbox One connector, there is the 12 volt line and the ground line for the power supply. This thing was going to uh, peak up to about 16 amps uh, according to the data sheet. Uh, so this 500 watt SMPS uh, is going to take care of uh, that current. So no problem at all. I'm just uh, joining. Uh, I'm just taking a multiple of uh, uh, inputs so that uh, I don't, uh, you know, there is nothing, uh, you know, restricting the current flow in this case, I hope. Okay, uh, in addition to that, there is a five volt supply and there are two signals coming from the Xbox One, uh, to my understanding, uh, coming back to the power brick. Um, what I can uh, make out is probably when you press the power button, there is a signal on this and this that signal is approximately 3.3 volts. That should uh, trigger a uh, MOSFET switch or something in the main power brick and then it should, uh, you know, that switch should basically uh, start supplying the 12 volts and, you know, that should be the technical thing of it. But uh, here what I've done is I've hardwired the 12 volts directly. So what I'm getting is the 12 volts, 5 volts and ground being continuously sent. The uh, pocket scope is connected to my uh, signals coming from the Xbox. And so le let's just switch and try to switch it on. You're going to hear a lot of whirring no or noises because of the fan of the SMPS as well as the Xbox one. There we go. So that's these two fans. There's a lot of vibration on there. And as soon as I click the power button, there we go. So you can see in this particular uh, scope that whenever I start it up, let me just restart it. And take a note of this in what? Three, two, one. So it jumps out about a couple of uh, volts, then it jumps to that 3.3 volt. And then uh, maybe that is the boot up sequence of the uh, switching circuit and power regulation circuit, power uh, control circuit or something. And then it drops to again zero volts. As soon as I press the power button in three, two, one. So that's the power pulse, which should tell the power brick to supply uh, the 12 volts necessary. Unfortunately, it doesn't stay on, it just drops over there. So quite frankly, it's not an issue with the power brick. In this case, it's not an issue with the SMPS. Uh, it's probably something wrong with the Xbox itself. Okay, let's take a look at, I'm just disconnecting this, all right. Okay, uh, I've already taken the screws apart. So this is, zoom in a bit, okay. So this is the, uh, let's, this is my understanding. So if I'm doing something wrong, uh, please feel free to comment below and correct what I'm doing. This is most probably a lot of caps for filtering the input 12 volts. So I'm guessing uh, the this connector just filters out the 12 volts and five volts and what and whatnot. 
the HDMI lines are more or less the same going to this, the sub processor or something else. Um, hold on a sec. Oh, sorry about that. So there is a Realtek chip. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty prominent. That logo is pretty uh, prominent. Uh, and uh, there's the Realtek chip, uh, which is for the Ethernet. And uh, there is there is supposed to be a USB chip or something around here. So that's okay. This is coming from the connector. This is this is just a wire that goes to uh, the HDMI uh, audio extractor. You can check the details on the Ben Hex show. Not not important right now. Uh, this is the front plate for the Xbox One. You're supposed to press and then it goes that click and click and the power buttons are uh, connected externally. Okay disassembling this okay so somewhere or the other there should be a power supply circuit around there should be a power supply circuit around here uh, which will allow uh, the switching on of the G apu sorry the not the gpu the apu and then you know it should boot up and then it should probably look at whether there is a lot of uh, current being supplied the necessary current and uh, draw the next necessary voltages are they present and if they are present then it should you know turn on the rest of the process what i think is going on is something or the other it has either uh, heated and disconnected i don't know because i it worked the last time so nothing has changed i just switched it off the last time as well so nothing has changed physically nothing is wrong with any of the parts Okay, and uh, there, uh, there. I'm going to link a couple of videos below, and I've seen people have these issues um, in their uh, own Xboxes. Not this is a completely open and modded one. Uh, the same issue happens with people uh, re having regular Xboxes, uh, the first lot that came from Microsoft, and they said that there's a issue with it. I read somewhere that there's some there's something warps uh, because of the heat, and something gets disconnected from the APU or something or uh, and then you have to uh, get it repaired. So right now uh, I have no idea. I haven't opened up the APU part. Uh, I'm just looking at the regulation circuits and all that, but uh, the switching, uh, uh, the power switching circuits uh, could possibly be one issue where uh, it's supposed, either the APU is supposed to take over and you know say, okay, I'm drawing enough power. Uh, let's keep things on or maybe there is some, cu uh, the current consumption is not more, it goes, uh, it jumps about an amp and then it drops uh, and switches off. Uh, when I was when I initially uh, hooked it up to the power supply circuit, uh, there was nothing wrong with it. Um, that the power supply did drop from 12 volts, more or less from 11 or something volts to 10.98 uh, volts, according to my uh, cheap multimeter. Uh, so probably uh, yes there should be a lot of current draw but uh, maybe there is a circuit that cuts it off that no there is not enough current being supplied or something or maybe it is something to do with um, some protection circuit that has been triggered some sleep mode or something quite frankly I am not able to figure it out what I have done right now is I have ordered a power brick a genuine uh, sorry a Chinese made power brick from eBay uh which was uh i don't know which, which uh, there are some solutions people have plugged it in plugged it out I, i've uh, posted a link to the video for this possible solutions and uh, i'm going to try that and if that doesn't work i'm going to pack this up and put it in a corner because to to be frank um i've invested a lot more time into this and i'm beat and if somebody has uh, the solution to this particular problem i would be all ears and very thankful if you can actually help me out so thanks for watching this video and uh, uh, let me know if, uh, if you have a possible solution to my problem. Thanks again. Thanks again for watching.